been knew you was on it Still trying to see where you flaws it So a perfect being what you call it mm. So a perfect being It's Tay E N T and I'm back with another video Okay, I know y'all probably like Girl, where you been? Like, you been M.I.A. I ain't seen you since that Las Vegas trip Well, I ain't been doing nothing But today I'm gonna be going to the chiropractor But you know, get my my back popped, you know, you know what I'm saying? They finna, they finna crack my back and stuff like that. I have scoliosis like a bitch. So I just basically wanna go and try to get my back like readjusted and so I can try to like help my condition. So I'm just gonna take y'all with me. Um, if y'all have scoliosis or like bad backs, bad neck and shoulders, comment down below what you be going through. Um, I know like my shoulders and my neck is always on 10. My back is always hurting. Whenever I do hair after my clients leave, I just be, I be laying down like for the rest of the day cause my back hurts so bad. So yeah, y'all, um, do y'all like my outfit though? This just some real light. Show my outfit there. Something real light, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, y'all. I'm running late, so. And then that other one, Dr. Blake will kind of explain a little bit better. Yeah, it's just cool to see because, like, that's where it's hurting at in that area. Right. So right. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey, best friend. Researchers have found that a large majority of people are unhappy with their health care providers and it usually corresponds here. So when we get this image of the neck, and to be honest with you, Shantae, I know your neck is one of your main concerns. Mm -hmm. So obviously this image is important. But let me tell you, if you came in and you told me that the only thing that was bothering you was your left pinky toe pain, I would still find you the And the reason is is because that nerve in your left pinky toe has to at one point pass through your neck. So if we have a lot of twisting, shifting, misaligning, if we have a backwards shaped curve here in the mm -hmm. leg, then that can create enough irritation that it can compound, can trigger, or even in some cases cause pain elsewhere. So when we get this image, there's a whole bunch of different things that I look for. I try to keep it simple for you guys. We want to see the front of your bones touching and following that kind of yellow banana shaped curve. Mine is not at all. Yours is actually going backwards. Yeah. Right? So, um, and that, that's kind of the worst of the image right now, is that it's backwards. Now, what happens over time is if that curve is left uncorrected, it's going to begin the degeneration process. Yeah. So, what that means is that the bones will start to grow bones first. And that little dark space in between each bone, that's where your discs are sitting, the disc will start to wear out. And when that happens, that's just going to be accepted the degeneration process. And you're going to be left with just not only symptoms like achiness and stiffness, you'll hear a lot of crunching and crying, but 
I do now though. Sure. Well, well and when things are so severely kind of backwards on us there, then that in many cases is yeah. what's probably causing a lot of the noise that you hear not only that but some eggs and things. So what we want to do is we want to get in there and start to start to get as much of this curve back as we can. We're not expecting perfect. Okay. Right. Um, but every little inch that we get back in this curve is gonna it's gonna not only make you feel better, but it's gonna make sure that your body functions the way that it needs to. And that's what you'll hear me say a lot is function. We want to make sure that these things aren't affecting the way your body functions. And we'll go over those tests here in just a second. But uh, let me give you some good news. Good news is the yellow vertical line, uh -huh. that demonstrates where your head is in relationship to your shoulder. So okay. one, of the, one of the things that we look for is we'd like to ideally see these two lines touching that little distance there, not really too big a deal. But uh, what happens is usually as the spine starts to break down, you'll start to get this number happening. Yeah. Right? And you've probably seen people. They walk around. I have like a little forward. forward. I try to like consciously make sure. Good. And that's, do that. Mm -hmm. um, we want to make sure that, again, by correcting some of these things, that you don't have to think about it so much. It just naturally, naturally. assumes that mm -hmm. position. And so I usually tell folks your head is like a bowling ball. Mm -hmm. Not a big old head. Well, hey, listen, we all have them, right? And if you're smart, you've got to hold around, hold around all that knowledge. But okay. if I were to just hand you a bowling ball, it's very rare that someone's going to carry it out here. Mm -hmm. It starts to get really heavy really quickly. Yeah. And carry it right here again. Same thing. The further our head goes forward, research actually shows that for every one inch it goes forward, it adds ten pounds of weight to your neck. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So right now you don't have any, which is good. We just want to make sure we prevent it from creeping forward to begin with. Right? Okay. We're gonna jump down to the lower back here. We've got a few things going on as oh, well. And so what uh, what I usually would draw your attention to are the horizontal line first. Mm -hmm. We've got the left hip is over here on the right side of the screen. Right hip that's here on the left side of the screen. Ideally, we like to see the two hips equal, mm -hmm. right? You don't want to see one hip sitting lower than the other. And then the other thing we want to see is this tailbone. The tailbone is a triangular shaped bone there. Uh, your zipper is actually running kind of right through the middle of the bone. But is, my tailbone isn't. No, not quite. It's off center just a little bit to the right. So yeah. the center of your tailbone is about right here. And it should be on that yellow vertical line there. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's not super severe, uh, and most likely your tailbone is following this hip, right? Because if mm -hmm. everything shifts this way, it's going to cause, and you can see how really your entire spine is offset to the left side yeah. of the spine, there, right? So a lot of chiropractors, when they see that, they're going to go in there and they're going to start working on these joints, and that may certainly get you some relief, but until we correct this, this will just keep recurring. Yeah, right? I feel it when I walk, and it, my dad has always told me, like, one of my legs is longer than the other. One the other. It's my hip. Do you ever see that like one shoe wears out faster than the other? Yeah. So that's yeah. what a lot of people tell me. They'll say, that oh, my right shoe, my left shoe, whatever it is, it's just it's worn out. Another one's in good shape. Yeah, but then I'm like, I don't know what you call it, like slew footed or whatever, sure. so it don't help my Turn shoes out a little bit. Either. Sure. Yeah. So uh, that's something we want to get in there and get corrected. That's going to help. Uh, you really don't have much of a curvature here in the lower back. That's not actually technically enough to be scoliosis. You do have a little bit more here in the. In the oh, back, yeah. Right. So. That right there is most That's likely stemming crazy. from what's going on in the neck. And so, you know, this area, again, even though we do see some kind of wicked little curvatures in there, that is not most likely the primary concern. Right? Yeah. You can see all of the ribs here. They actually kind of help keep these bones from shifting too much. And so when we see shifting in here, it's usually not because those bones have shifted. It's usually because they're compensating for something going on either in the neck or the lower back. Okay, so right? your ribs really help you out. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, you'll hear a lot of crunching and cracking in there because the ribs create about eight extra joints, you know, compared to the, the joints that don't I'm have I'm always ribs. popping, like, right here. If sure. I stretch, I'll get, like, a mm -hmm. pop. Well, and remember, your ribs come all the way around and they attach to your sternum. So a lot of people, they'll do this and they can get their sternum to, to pop. And sometimes yeah. that's issues going on in the mid-back. So we'll definitely keep an eye on that. The main concerns are definitely the uh, the backwards oh, yeah. curve in the neck and then some of that hip unleveling there in the pelvis. But again, other than that, you've got nice, healthy joints. The, okay. the discs are looking great. You can see the big open black circles. That's where the nerve is running through. Mm -hmm. So you can see how that was a little bit smaller right there. That one is the one that's uh, all that shifting and twisting from this image is going to close down that space. Okay. Right? So by getting some of those things correct, we'll be able to see that open up a little bit. That is so cool. Yeah, like, that's an sure. interesting And we'll take, we'll take some, some post-X-ray so you can actually kind of see the changes. And I'll put kind of a before and after here. Uh -huh. And that's usually really, really neat to see. So I'm excited for that. All making sense there? Any questions on X-rays? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll go over your nerve testing equipment and then we'll 
So one of the things you'll feel me do is look at your legs a lot, because I can tell. I'm sorry, my feet are so. No, don't stress <laughs> over. Don't stress <laughs> over. So we can kind of tell what your pelvis is up to by looking at your legs. Mm -hmm. and so that right side, again, that's the side that has shifted and rotated, and that's led your right leg to be a little bit shorter. Mm -hmm. Are you recording, babe? I think he is. Let me, have you slide down, uh, let me have you slide down towards the feet. Yeah, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming right there, kid. Okay. So we're going to be right here. This is your SI joint. Can I slide my sandal? Yes, you may. Yep. No. Make yourself. Mm -hmm. All right, so what you're going to feel is you're going to feel the heel of my hand right here. I'm going to give you a little thrust, and then that table's going to drop just like that, okay? Okay. Ooh. Still just a little bit shorter. And what we'll have you do is lift your chin up like you're going to look at the ceiling. Good, right there, and then just rest your chin in the headrest. Perfect. Nice, big deep breath in. To the table. Okay. Oh, that. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. You got one right above it as well. Same thing. Big deep breath in. <laughs> it definitely sounds like it's <laughs> <powerful>. <laughs> I'm killing you, doesn't it? <laughs> right. For this one, I'll have you tuck your chin towards your chest. Okay. There you go. Let's see. Your first visit, we had a little bit of swelling. I don't feel it today. That means it's not there, but it's not there. Is. Feel that kind of squishiness? Uh -huh. What is it from? So when the curve goes backwards, like yours has, those joints are shifted. They swell just like any other joint. Uh -huh. so if you roll your ankle, it swells up. Same thing with the, with the spine. You can breath in, and then all the way out. Sheesh. All right, we got one more. You good, okay? Uh, All right, let's have you turn the face up, laying on your back for me. Okay. I'm gonna put your shoes just over here. Uh, you can just kind of rest your hands on your belly. Yeah? So that actually doesn't look bad. Have you bend this left knee for me? Come on down towards your feet. Kind of want to be sitting in this hole right here. Okay, good, good. Perfect. So this adjustment, we're going to be working on your hip. We're actually adjusting the same joint, but we're doing it from the front side here. Just mm -hmm. trying to get that right side. This is working on that hip that it dropped, okay? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Let's see if we got it. It looks pretty spot on to me. Okay, come on up for me nice and easy. Just kind of swing your legs off to the side. Stay seated. We got one last thing that we'll do here. Okay. This will be your favorite part. You ever been tased? No. <laughs> First time for everything. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so it sounds like a taser. Okay. okay. It's, it's more like a massage gun. So mm -hmm. what I'll use this for is I'll stand behind you. I'm going to put my hand on the top of your head. Just do your best to relax. Okay. So I'm going to move your head in different directions and we're going to use the instrument to just work on some of those joints there. I thought you were going to give me magnetic post. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Remember, we took some x-rays of you looking up and down. You looked down great. Most people do because we spend so much time on our phones mm -hmm. and other things. You do not be too good looking up. So that'll be the good opportunity. Really focus on. Full okay? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'll it's tell you, weird. this is everybody's favorite part. So those joints that we adjusted right there that made such a loud noise, those yeah. are the ones that were locked up and were preventing you from being able to look up like that. So that's already doing a little better. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better. Yeah, yeah we had a 79 though. I definitely though. feel like it's like whenever I'm 
my head is up, I got to apply way more pressure. pressure. Yeah. Well, like I said, we get plenty of practice looking down. Mm -hmm. There's not too many things that bring us up nowadays. Yeah, well, so. with him, I got to look up to him all the time. <laughs> hey, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Well, perfect. You handled everything great. Mm -hmm. That's all there is to it. We don't expect any miracles in one adjustment. I usually joke with folks and I'll remind you, my name is Blake, not Jesus. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're not looking yeah. for, you know, to fix everything in one adjustment. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, when you wake up tomorrow, there's a good chance you might be sore. Okay. It, shouldn't, it shouldn't be any worse than just gym soreness. Mm -hmm. A new workout usually makes you sore. This is new to you, so it usually makes you sore. Yeah. It's not a bad thing, okay? If you get super sore, just put a little bit of ice on it. And within a day or two, it's going to go. Yeah, well, I got some, like, muscle relaxing cream and stuff. I'm used to being sore. Tens units, heat packs, ice, all that stuff. Yeah. That's great. It's not going to be any harm. You're all set. Hey y'all, so I've been going to the chiropractor now for like, I want to say like three weeks now. I've been going since the beginning of the month for twice a week, um, since the beginning of June. Um, y'all, I feel so, I feel 10 times better than I did when I had started. I used to wake up every day in pain. My muscles, my back just used to be so sore. Like it was my back my um, upper back, my lower back, and then my shoulders. Y'all ever heard like the reference, shoulders are bleeding, you know what I'm saying? Like my shoulders felt like they was bleeding like every day. I would have like, like muscle spasms in my back and stuff like that, like just all the time on and off. Um, but since I've been going, y'all, I could sleep a full night's sleep so much better now. Like, I'm not tossing and turning as much. My neck still hurts like a bitch. But that's, like, why I'm going so over time. It can improve and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, I just, I think everybody should go to a chiropractor. If you have every day, you know, aches, your back. It, it don't even have to be severe. Like, how my chiropractor is explaining it, he's saying, like, chiropractors should be... Um, you should go to the chiropractor as often as you go to the dentist because your spine is what supports your whole entire body. If you have pain and your, you know, in any area of your of your spine, like that can affect like your heart. That can affect how you breathe, your digestive system. Your, like it affects so much stuff that like I just didn't know. And like now I really do feel better in my day to day. I can sit up a whole lot straighter for a whole lot longer. Like before, oh no. Like I couldn't even sit at a graduation in a bleacher for like an hour or two without feeling like I was literally finna die. Like seriously, my back was just hurting that bad. And it wasn't even like, it was like my muscles like spasms, you know? But yeah, y'all, um, this is kind of like my update. I, I feel so much better, y'all. Like go see, go see a damn chiropractor if y'all hurting. Um, if y'all need some TLC, fuck a massage therapist because they don't really fix the root of your problem. They just kind of like relax your muscles temporarily, but you're not really caring to your spine. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was trying to think of a word that rhymed with spine, so I could say real, a little phrase, but like all I thought about was divine and like spine, your spine is divine, like what the fuck. Oh, get your spine right so you can look fine. Okay, uh, what else, what else? Uh, go fix that spine so you can put that shine back in your life. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. My chiropractor don't believe in all that evasive, crack your neck, crack your back, crack your crack your hip, crack your toe. He don't do all that in one visit. Like he likes to gradually do things because you shouldn't put your body through all that turmoil. Like braces when you get braces this is how you explained it they don't try to tighten your teeth in one sitting you know what i'm saying so why would you go to the chiropractor and they try to adjust your spine in like one or two visits you know what i'm saying so he do twice a week visits and then after like four weeks i'm gonna do once a week and then after like eight weeks with that i'm gonna go like i don't know however often but like he has like a regiment, like an 11 month regiment that I'll be on. And by then, like I should be sitting up, you know what I'm saying? Titties all the way up to my goddamn chin, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, y'all, I'm happy. I'm so happy. He's telling me I'm making great progress. And that's what I love to hear. If you're not progressing, bitch, 
you're missing your blessing. Ah! Okay, um, if you're not progressing, you must be stressing, okay? If you're not progressing, okay, pick up that ranch dressing, bitch. And, and I'm out this hole. <laughs> Lay your way in, gotta skip this. I've been away, feel away, go, baby.